Hello everyone, this is John Saleh and this is Adam Rowe. Hello. Sitting here. Thanks. No Honor problem. Honored to be here. No problem. Man. Sitting with Very the legend much. here. <laughs> and tell, uh, tell me about uh, your injury, uh, what's happening and how you're going yeah. to yeah, do so, good again. So big issue, everybody is asking me about this injury. Actually what happened, I have this scar here. And uh, actually what happened, I am after a massive bicep uh, full rupture. This happened uh, not from some exercise or one like, like one heavy thing, but it happened uh, in course of time because I was very overtrained long period of time. I did summer camps for children, for out. I also was preparing for for competitions, I did some street lifting competition for weighted pull up, weighted dips. Uh, then I was opening some parks for people, so like workout Adam, parks. My gift from Bondi Beach. Yeah, we are we are shooting video, but that's ah, okay. okay. Ah, okay. Th thank you very much. I will I will stop by. Uh, and uh, what happened? It was just too much. And my body was giving me signals. I was getting signals. My body, I, I had I had slight slight like uh, like feeling in this tendon area for a long time, like two, two weeks. But I was in the, in the situations that I couldn't stop because there was events for people and it was, everything was planned. Yeah. For example, summer camp, it is planned thing, you can't cancel. Then opening workout park, it's planned thing. And I went there and did some things and, and present free workout. And on that day, after like two months of overtraining, when I was opening the park, it was just too much and on just some basic things on the rings. When I went to back lever, I went from slightly bent position to, to straight arm and for this time it was too much. So, uh, so that's basically how it happened. And uh, since that, like five days or one week after I turned, I went to surgery because I had only two options. First option, not make sur surgery but I would lose like 50% of strength for whole lifetime. Yeah. And I would be totally fucked, you know, because I work out is my life, of course, and I cannot imagine to be without it. And the second option was, was surgery, and that should uh, regain back about 95% of strength. So it was very, very good chance for me to get back. So I immediately, I said, okay, we go for surgery. So a week later, I did surgery and since that I was on a very special diet, uh, one month I did ketosis which is zero carbs, very high fat, very high protein, quality vitamin supplements just to speed up recovery so healing was very good and now I'm about four months post uh, surgery and I can say, I can say it's, it's, uh, it's very hard for my mind because I can train just basics and basically I am beginner now but what I always say uh, basics are the most important so one thing uh, I cannot do my hard stuff and weight pull ups and things but I can focus on basics and still I'm happy because I can do at least something and there are people who cannot I always memorize people who cannot train at all and I say still I have to be like humble and happy for that I can train True. So I can do some pushing, because on pushing I don't feel that tendon so much. I can do weight, uh, weighted dips and push-ups, I can train legs now. And for pulling movements like pull-ups, it's very hard, but I think in some period of time it will, maybe will come back. Hopefully. Uh, there are some people asking, uh, what about the, do you also weightlift? No, no, that's very important thing. Uh, many people ask me, and what I always answer is, I do add weight on myself when I train, but I do not train with that weight, just uh, external weight. For example, pick weight and train with it, do something. Yeah, I someone say it's good to combine it. Yeah. Both. So, so for me, I don't use it. When I put weight, I put it on my body and I call this weighted calisthenics. And for example, uh, bodyweight squat, basic squat is calisthenics and when you put uh, weight on your back, it's just weighted calisthenics. Mm. It's the same as with when you pull up and with do weights. do weight on your belt. Exactly. It's the same for me. So uh, weighted squat, dip and pull up, it's staple and it may seem like weightlifting, 
but it's not. It's calisthenics with added weight. Exactly. Only exception that I think is very good. I don't strain it uh, so far. I started just uh, after after the injury because I did light bench presses light. because of mm -hmm. uh, pushing was better for me and the tendon I, I didn't feel it so much on it. So I did light pushing on bench press and that would be only exception because I think bench press is very good for weighted dips. It, it uh, works together with dips and, and it can improve it. And also I have my, my big motivation and inspiration, Danny Montana. He's a very strong guy and uh, he's doing bench press a lot. And I took this inspiration from him and I think I will maybe start doing bench press more. Even though it's not calisthenics or weighted calisthenics. But that's the only exception. Nice. Good. And uh, what about food and everything? What do you eat? What do you recommend people to eat? Yeah, when it comes to uh, nutrition... Because some people say uh, vegetarian is better, some people say meat is better. So how do you mix it? It's, it's when it comes to nutrition, it's very, very complicated. Because, for example, when I have uh, seminars or I speak to people about nutrition, it's for two hours, three hours. It's for a very long time. Because I study nutrition about 10 years. I tried various diets. I was vegan, vegetarian, I was raw plant-based vegan. I did paleo, I did all kinds of diets. And really, uh, to say everything this in like uh, one interview or once on one seminar, it's very hard to, to pass the information on, on people. It's very hard to, because you need so many informations from different areas to, to put everything together to have the same picture like me that it's impossible to give you the whole view but I can uh, I can pass some basic information and the most in important thing and the most basic information that I pass is always first thing limit all the foods that are man-made which, which means uh, focus on whole foods and things that are not touched with man so basically as, uh, as Jack LaLanne said if man made it, don't eat it. That's the first thing. And it really works. This really works because all the whole foods are just that food. It's, it's just one thing. Apple is apple, nothing more. Meat is meat, nothing more. Rice is rice, nothing more. But for example, bread is made of 10 things. Mm. Sausage is made of 10 things. Uh, any packed thing or thing made in a factory is made of 20, 50 things together. Okay. It's like stick together, stick it's together. bullshit. Okay. Exactly. Also, to drink water is just water. There is nothing in it. But when you buy some some sodas and things, it's it's t 10, 20 substances, mm. and that's what's the problem for the body. When body takes too many substances at one time, it can confuse it, and it's very 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 complicated for the body. Also, you have uh, many unnatural, uh, artificial things and additives yeah. and that's very bad it's like chemicals and chemicals. toxins for yeah. body it's, it's poison basically it's poison so the most important thing focus on whole foods non uh, man-made foods and uh, that's first thing second thing is modesty I think modesty is the greatest and biggest key in nutrition because if you eat too much it will always fuck you up Especially in street workout, if you eat too much, you will feel heavy on the bar. You are like a grazing animal, and we are not, not supposed to graze all the exactly. time. Yeah, we are predators. Yeah, true. You may be true. you may be vegan. Like predator. <laughs> you may be you may be vegan or vegetarian, and you you can be peaceful person. I'm peaceful too, but we cannot ignore the fact that we just killed 90% of everything that ever lived. Exactly. We are everywhere, and we are the we are just lords of this planet. True, we are just pre we are most dangerous predators, and our most dangerous weapon is our brain. And that's just true. The strongest we, muscle is brain. Yeah, we cannot ignore this fact, and because of this fact, uh, I think we are not supposed to be grazing all the time, to be full, like for example, cow. Cow is just going from place to place and grazing grass all the time. And that's what I think we are not supposed to do. And when people do this, and many people do this, for example, just because of sweets, sugar and carbohydrates, many people just eat all the time. Eat all the time. You eat exactly. carbs and in an hour you are hungry again, yeah. you eat again. True. And this thing is making us heavy, tired, and lazy, sleepy, lazy, fat. Exactly. 
It's fucking bad. So, so that's the second thing, modesty. When you are modest and, uh, and you do not eat too much and you eat whole foods, you do not eat sweets and all these carbs and you cut, cut on carbs, uh, especially on processed carbs, you will feel more like natural. And that's the main thing I think it's important to do not focus on diets, do not focus on extremes because you can do paleo, eat just meat and that's extreme. Or you can be vegan, never eat anything animal, but that's extreme too. And all extremes are bad. And believe me, I tried these extremes. I tried many extremes, but extremes are just fucked. It will always fuck you up. I tried everything, really. And every extreme was bad. That's why people who do little bit from everything, but with modesty, they are, in, in most cases, yeah. they are in the best condition. And for example, I can say my grandparents, I have grandparents, my, my uh, grandfather is, is 80 years and he's in very good condition and his whole life he was eating a little bit of everything. But uh, no vegetable fats, only, he only used animal fats, quality butter and lard and these things for cooking and they are healthy. Yeah. And that's why I think that processed things, especially carbs, sugar and vegetable oils like margarine, and these shitty things, I think we should cut that, cut that, and, and focus on on uh, on whole foods and uh, things that our our uh, ancestors used. So that's the basically the most important thing. How did you start to work out then? Well, uh, I started to be honest about nine years ago. On the on the on the high school because I saw some video on YouTube. You was also practicing parkour something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. I started I started on the high school about nine years ago, and I tried various sports. On school, I did also uh, so-called strength tetrathlon, which is like four exercises in the competition. It was pull-ups, uh, some bench press, uh, triple standing jump, which I did uh, on professional level later. And I became a Czech Republic champion in, in triple standing jump. It's like long jump, you do three standing jump. And then it was uh, leg raises. And these four exercises I did like three years. So it was very good base for me. Mm -hmm. Also I did parkour, some jumping, things like that. It was very good for coordination. And how did you get, get in involved in, this, in calisthenics? Yeah, and, and, and by just, just by trying these various sports and trying a uh, little bit from everything, I somehow started to, uh, to create my own way and I, and I saw that some exercises are better than others and are bringing me uh, better results. And from that, I, it, was, it was clear that bodyweight exercises from calisthenics are really the best. Mm -hmm. And then there was uh, videos, big boom of street workout, Hannibal for King, other Barton does, Lord Vidal, Team Beast Mode, really the basics and Giant, basics. Barton does Sub Zero and this, these things. True. And it was that, that was uh, that was the last last hit for me because it showed me that the way changed you. and ch that changed me. So I used to yeah. train only. Uh, I, I started to train only calisthenics and workout. And then by time, because it started to be easy, I started to, to add weight. So, so my, my main thing now is weight with calisthenics. And that's basically what I will, I will keep, I think, in the future too. Because uh, doing, for example, now I lost a lot of weight. I'm just 87 kilos now. And I was 94. And uh, I think at my build, it's, it's kind of uh, complicated and problematic to do, for example, straight arm work and, and, and uh, heavy gymnastic skills and elements. It, it's really very hard for your tendons. And if I, uh, of course I can do that, but if I would like to uh, be good in it, I need to focus on it and I need to compromise other things that I like more. And because because of my build, it would be so hard to focus on those things that I would neglect all other things, weight calisthenics and stuff. And for me, I choose basics and weight calisthenics. Sure. And uh, now also that injury, I injured on on uh, on things that that are not basics and, and uh, on straight arm work stuff. So I think I will really cut these things 
maybe not completely, but I will cut it as much as I can and I will stay on basics. Because sets and reps and weighted calisthenics for me is the way to go. Basics, guys. That's the best. Stick to the basic. Yeah. That's natural movement. Movement is medicine. Yeah. Thank you very much, Adam. Mind up. Mind up. It's a pleasure you. to see you. I'm very glad. Really and uh, he's going to be a judge tomorrow. Yeah. He I'm gonna extent. judge hard. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys. See you soon. See you. Salute. Salute. Thank you.